Hey, this is James from Photography Insider Info. So today's video is about Facebook and it's for people who either make money from photography or think they might one day want to make money from photography. Now, as you may know from some of my more business focused courses, I'm really keen for photographers to use Facebook to promote their businesses, to get new customers, to share their photography. But it turns out that some people are doing this in a way that's likely to get them banned by Facebook. And I want to make sure that you're not one of those people. And if you are, I want to teach you how to share properly on Facebook so that you stop running that risk of your account being banned. The issue is that Facebook are very keen for you to keep your private life and your business life separate on Facebook. They're so keen, in fact, that if you start using your personal profile, your ordinary Facebook, for business means, they may delete your account. Also, if you set up a second account and use that second account for business and then log in separately for your personal account and use that one personally, they are also likely to delete or to ban one or both of your accounts. So it's really quite important that you, you address this quickly and I'll show you how to do that now. So first, what I want you to do is to go to Facebook and I want you to go to whatever page you would normally go to if you were going to write something about your business, something about a special offer um, or something designed to attract new customers or to get your photography shared um, so that, you know, with, with the intent that you were going to um, you try and sell photography. Now, if the page you've just gone to looks like this one, if it talks about the number of likes your page has, if it allows you to post uh, as a business, as a different name as well as yourself, if you click this little uh, drop down here and you can choose your own name or a business name from that drop down, or if the page, or rather and if the page um, displays statistics like this one does on how many people have read your posts and how many website clicks you've had and that sort of thing, then you're absolutely fine. You're, you're running a business page and you don't need uh, to watch the rest of this video but if when you go to that page it looks like this if it talks about the number of friends you have and the number of followers you have if you're posting business information on this type of page Facebook may delete this page now don't worry about this we can fix this but it's important you attend to it what I'm guessing happened is this that one day you realized that you wanted to keep your your um, personal life and uh, business life separate so what you may have done is you may have logged out of Facebook and gone to this page and then put a different email address to the one that you normally use into this box here and created a brand new account. And in order to do that, you may have had to uh, sort of mess around with these boxes a little bit. Your business doesn't have a first name or a surname. It just has a name. And so what you may have done is gone to here and done something like uh, James and then in the surname box, Somerset uh, Photography something like that, um, then you would have put a password in and you would have made up a birthday. You may have used your own or just made up any old date. And although it makes no sense at all that your business is male or female, you would have ticked one of these boxes and created the account. Now, that makes absolute sense, and I, I, I don't blame anybody for doing this. It's just not the way that Facebook want you to do it. Um, what they wanted you to do instead is to go to this little button here, create a page for celebrity band or business. Um, and... If you didn't do this, if you didn't create a business page, um, it could cause you problems. So if this is what you did, it's really quite important you fix it quickly before your page gets deleted. And the easiest way of doing that is to go along to the Facebook help page. There we are at facebook.com forward slash help. And if you type into the help box um, something like, how do I convert my personal account to a Facebook page? Um, and just go along to uh, that help page, it will describe to you exactly how you convert the page that you're using for your business into something which they want you to use, into a what they call a Facebook business page. And what will happen when you do that is all of the friends that you have on your business page, on your business profile, they will get converted into likes, you won't lose them, and then your page will be added to your Facebook personal account in the way that Facebook wants it to happen. And what will then happen is over on the left hand side here, when you log into your normal Facebook, there'll be a special little button there that allows you to post onto your business page in a way that does not break Facebook's terms and conditions.
So if that's you, if you've got two different accounts, one for personal, one for business, go along to this page, uh, read through the instructions, do what they say, and you'll be safe. If you haven't yet done this, if you're still using your Facebook as a personal page and you, are, you, aren't yet, uh, you haven't yet set up a business page or, or a second account for business, then you've got things a little bit easier. All you need to do is go along to any a Facebook business page. Now, of course, the one I would recommend would be the Photography Insider page. So go along to Photography Insider, um, follow that link, and I'll... And what you'll find there is on the top right hand corner here there's a um a uh, link called create page now if that isn't there because they're always changing this stuff the easiest thing to do is go along to the address bar here and type in there facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash create and if you do that you'll arrive at a page like this and this allows you to create a facebook business page it gives you a choice here of the types of page you want to create i'm guessing that what you'll probably want to do is to create a local business page although if you're a huge company with lots of uh, shops or lots of uh, sites then um you know you may do that one but uh, i suspect you won't have this problem if you're a large company because you'll have somebody managing your social media for you so come along here click the local business button and in this box here where it says business or place name just type in you know that information so james somerset photography uh, there's a little drop down list here where with a bunch of categories in so just read through those categories and choose the correct one for you um, if you run your business from home at the moment and you don't want to put your home address in these boxes at the moment at any rate um, they'll let you do that you can actually skip this and then just uh, go straight down to the get started button um, if you've got a studio or a shop premises then obviously typing your address details in there and your phone number will help people uh, get hold of you if they find you on Facebook um, what I would strongly advise you to do before you press the guest get started button is to click hit this here face uh, uh, Facebook page uh, terms and just read through this page here is a little bit boring uh, but what it tells you is what you are and are not allowed to do on Facebook for your business and if you break these terms you may find your page being deleted so it's actually a really good idea to uh, read through these make sure you understand them once you've understood that once you're happy with that go back to this play page press get started started and it's really quite intuitive after that it'll ask you a bunch of questions it'll ask you to upload photos and before you know it you've got a um, an official Facebook business page that's not breaking their terms of con and conditions and uh, does not risk being deleted so uh, go off do that and uh, hopefully I've saved you a lot of hassle uh, by not getting your Facebook business page banned I hope you found that interesting. Now, to ensure um, you're one of the first people to find out when I next upload a YouTube video, please click on the uh, button now to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're watching this from YouTube, then please come along and check out my website. It's full of articles and videos for keen photographers and people wanting to make money from their photography. Uh, you can do that by clicking on the www.button. This is James. Until next time, enjoy your photography.